All right, this circuit is acting as a locking mechanism using a servo motor and arm here, piezo, and a push button. I guess we'll start with the push button. Push button is connected to power with this purple wire here and the ground with this um, 10 kilo ohm resistor here. It's acting as an input into digital pin two through this red wire, red wire which um, turns the, or locks the server motor. So it turns the server motor. And then for the piezo here, this yellow wire is power and then it's in the ground with the one mega ohm resistor. It's also acting as an input through this green wire here into analog zero. And for this input, it reads um, a certain loudness and certain number of vibrations, which is the combination lock essentially, to unlock the server motor. And then moving on to the LEDs, we have three LEDs here, the red, green, and yellow ones in series with, um, 200, with three 220 ohm uh, resistors, and they're connected to ground through those three yellow wires. Um, so each of the LEDs have a different meaning. The yellow one here is connected to digital pin three, um, and those are set as outputs, turning the LED on for each of them. And the yellow one indicates when a valid knock has been hit, so it's greater than a certain loudness and uh, less than a certain loudness. And when it flashes yellow, that means you hit the the right kind of loudness. So it's like a like a tick and an actual lock. So you hit the combination. Uh, the green one here is for when the when the servo motor is unlocked. So that'll be on when it's unlocked, and that's in digital pin four through this orange wire. And the red LED is um, when the server motor is locked. So when the button's pressed, the red LED will be on, the server motor will be locked, and that's through digital pin five. And those are all outputs turning the LEDs on. Uh, moving over here, the server motor is connected to power and ground via these two wires here. And then the the white data wire is connected to this orange wire into digital pin nine, which is um, telling the server motor when to move and when to not move. It's controlling the server motor. And then we have a power wire here in this yellow one from both sides of the breadboard. And then a ground wire here to ground both sides of the breadboard. And lastly, we have the 100 uh, microfarad capacitor, which is here to um, to keep all the irregularities um, in voltage smooth. So it smooths everything out, make sure nothing busts, you know. And then when you plug it in, it starts in the unlock state. So the green light's on, so it's unlocked. Press the button to lock it. So now the red LED's on, so it's unlocked. I guess it somehow since the vibration there, since it flashed, so one might be already uh, valid. So we'll go ahead and hit it, or knock it, make it sense of vibration for the amount of times it needs to unlock it. I guess just one. So it, it, I guess it flashed, or got sense of vibration three times there. Let me try again. For some reason, I don't know why mine does this, but it goes right back into unlocked. But if I unplug it again and plug it back in, that went right to locked. And sensing vibration. Right. Unlock it, or unplug it, plug it back in. Plug it in. Well, for some reason it's not working now, but that's what it's supposed to do. There it 
Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. But I don't know why it's doing this. But yeah, like I said, when, when you plug in, it's supposed to be green and unlocked. And you press the button to lock it. And you hit the piezo in certain vibration three times, flashes yellow three times, and then it unlocks green again. But it doesn't want to cooperate. Of course. <laughs> 